This is the first soldering connection I want you to learn. This is basically a, a butt splice connection. Um, it's commonly used to put two wires together. What I'm doing right now is I'm stripping the insulation back. Um, you want to strip maybe anywhere from a quarter to three eighths depending on how good a connection you want and diameter of the wire and how easy it is to move back and forth. I'm going to overdo it a little bit just for the sake of the video, but normally you'll want a quarter inch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cross the two wires just like that, and I want to spin them together. The spinning action creates a good, strong um, soldering connection. Now you can see I spun one side, now you want to spin the other side and it creates kind of a lock there. So this is strong to begin with. The next step is to physically solder it. Now, the way I do it is I basically prop the wire up a little bit. You want to be able to take a soldering gun. This is a soldering gun that I bought. And you want to clean the old solder off. You want to wipe some of that solder off. Once you clean the solder off, you want to wick the tip a little bit. All you got to do is get a little bit on there. You wipe a little bit on the connection, and that creates a bond to transfer the heat. What you actually want to do is you want to get that wire good and hot so you can just run the solder right along the wire. It should melt in, just like so. After it melts in, you can see that's a pretty clean looking solder joint. It's all the way around there and it's melted in. Now this is a very strong wire. Also you can notice that it is a little bit stiff in the area where the solder was, so it isn't too common, but if you bend this enough, right at that joint, it will break. Well, it will eventually, take my word for it. But this is a smaller diameter wire than you uh, may or may not use but that is a butt connection. The next connection will be a, a splice and what we're going to basically do is we're going to take one wire and we're going to splice it into another wire just like that. Um, you can do it from one direction or the other direction. Um, you just have to do a little bit of planning and see what you actually need. The best way to do it is if you can get away with it, you can slide the whole sheath over. If you can't do that, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to basically strip the wire on one side and strip the wire again a little bit closer. And then you'll have to come back in with a razor blade and cut this section out. You want to be careful because you can get hurt with the razor blade, of course. Basically, I'll just saw the insulation off, just like so. Eventually, you can see that I've got through the insulation. Now I'm able to just pull that wire right out, and there's the other side of the case. So, there is my spot that I'm going to splice into. And what you want to do is you want to split the wires. The way I do it is I take the razor blade I used and basically create a hole. This hole doesn't have to be perfect split between which side of the wires, but you want to take the wire that's going to be mating into it and you want to spin it up real nice and you want to put it through. Now when you put it through this hole, you got a few decisions to make. 
you can actually split this wire and wrap one on this side and one on this side or this is the way I usually do it at least if you're soldering I bend it at a 90 degree angle I bring that back shut and then I bend the wire that went through around the wire that I'm tapping into that right there will be my connection now you can also see that you can manipulate how this wire is going to be bent if you want a perfect T normally people will want to run it in line like so so the next step again is to solder wake the tip a little bit see it actually melt right on the wire that's a good solder joint and that is how you tee one wire into another wire now you also notice that these wires are kind of pre-stressed pre to each other they both want to run in the same direction um, so it's a good way that you can take the piece of shrink tube and slide it up over this. Granted we would have put shrink tube over this if it was a long string. But that is how you solder a T. I'm going to show you the shrink tubing. I just found some. Basically you'll want to put it on before the solder connection, do your solder, and then slide it over the joint. Um, it's not recommended to use the lighter, but it's all I really got. So you'll probably have to, so go ahead and use it. Just give it a little heat, move back and forth. Do not let it burn. You don't want it to get hard and crispy. 